I like to think that I'm not the only person that never actually finishes their projects, but still this doesn't change the fact that it leads to many ideas being forgotten. By making this video, and possibly many more, I'm trying to avoid just that and maybe inspire some people to build upon my concepts. This is a creation inspired a long time ago by a video of Last Stand Gamers of Kit Ha... Uh, Kit... Keith... Sakis? Keith... Skies? Kid Sky's Dune Crawler. It hurt me that it was made using moss and motivated me to make my own in Vanilla Space Engineers. The main features I've managed to implement before I moved on are of course the suspension that went through many iterations, the pickup bed that can be opened in many ways, and a ramp, and some basic interior work. Starting from the suspension, as I said, it's not how it began. On the screen you can see just a few concepts that didn't make it through, and in the description you will find two links, one will lead you to the world with the final prototype, and the other will take you to the huge dump for the ones that were rejected for various reasons. Uh, the suspension has to be set up on the final version of the vehicle due to the necessity of taking the weight and its distribution into consideration. Uh, the main script used to achieve this effect is Rotor Torsion Spring by Sunoko. Here you can see the basics behind the idea, and I will include a schematic explaining the naming scheme used here, because it can be fairly confusing. Each carriage, as I like to call them, is connected to the main body by two large advanced rotors, leading to the carriage itself, where it is again connected to it by two advanced rotors assuring the carriage stays level to the main body. Connected to each carriage we can see two smaller carriages that have wheels on them. This is where I'd make the first changes. These parts are connected to the main large carriage by one small grid advanced rotor, uh, which is not powerful enough to lift them even here. But leaving this problem behind, we can move to the remote control in each small carriage, I use a script called uh, Subgrid Wheel Control by Whiplash141 to control the wheels that are three subgrids away from the grid that the cockpit is on. The script will work without them, but the driving experience is much nicer with them present. Moving to the second major feature of this creation, we have the pickup bed. This part is where I took the most inspiration from the video I was talking about earlier. I'll just let you see how it works and explain a few things about it while you are watching it do its thing. To start things off, it is entirely airtight. Uh, beginning from above, we have the hinged hatch. All the hinges you see work together, which I achieved by merging the subgrids one by one. I've also included some flashing lights for added ambiance. Stepping down a notch, we have the back door. The back door is like double hinged because you need an intermediate subgrid between the two you want to connect or disconnect on demand. It also features some lights, this time lighting up the grounds below the doors. And closing off, we have the platform or ramp. It can be lowered while staying level, or it can only lower its back, creating a ramp. If I were to make any changes to it, I'd add a programmable block that could extend the pistons by certain amounts on demand without having to mess around with the settings. Uh, the entire platform can be also detached if you want to use it as a cargo platform or something like that. To close it all off, we have the folding ramp. It's nothing huge, but it does its job. And finally, the example of a possible interior, I'll just let the shots roll. Anyway, that would be all. I'll upload the world saves. You are free to modify them, modify the vehicle, add or subtract anything you want. Uh, you don't have to credit me, but if you did, it would make me happy. 
If you have any other questions, please leave them below the video and not in the Steam comments because I don't really read those. Thank you once again for watching and have a nice day, night, evening. Cheers. I'm recording these clips after the fact and after editing. I thought that it would be kind of useful for some people who actually want to do something with the project to know how to control it in any capacity. So this is the main cockpit, the one on the right here. Uh, basically, if you want to lower the ramp, first things first, you need to turn off the rotor torsion spring by pressing 9, it's turned off. Then you have to make sure you don't have parking brake engaged. In this case, I don't. Uh, and then you lower the torsion spring, like the torque on the rotors. So pressing eight in this example, and it lowers the entire suspension. And then you press five, and the ramp starts to lower somehow. Uh, I didn't bother to make it nice because it was it is a prototype i was the only one using it and i was the one creating it so i knew what was going on there but you'll have to do <laughs> all right moving on uh, we will go to the back through the corridors here you can also retract and uh, extend the ramp here, but you can't control the suspension. Uh, this is the airlock, you just press this button and it cycles for itself. This should open, the uh, close, but I just flew into it, so yeah, don't fly into the closing doors because they will not close. And yeah, the, many, the naming scheme because behind the ramp, it's quite intuitive when you get the mindset. Uh, for example, this is air tight hangar door, and the place where it is. So entrance BD is back door, uh, back is the back on of the ramp. Connect is on the connection points on the ramp, like he, these two, for example. Uh, front is our dose here, uh, and main are everything else. So the upper ones, I think, and the lower ones here. Uh, after that, we have hinges. So hinges H, BD back door, hinges lights back door, hinges ramp all, I think. I'm not sure here. <laughs> Ramp? Anyway, you'll have to figure it out yourself. Uh, here hinges, upper hanger, so these are the hinges on the hatch. Moving on, we have match blocks, match block back door, match block main. You want to turn this off when you want to lower the ramp. The on board are these hinges here. So these will just release the platform itself from the arms. Uh, and match block upper hangar. Uh, pistons. Pistons all are all pistons. Pistons back are all the pist the these two and these two. So you can make a ramp of this platform. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, PRF1 are pretty important because if you want to make a ramp you don't just extend these pistons on the, in the back but you have to extend a bit of that piston here or that here I'm not sure which one was it but if you want to do that you have to set this to maximum 3 meters like that and then extend it if you don't do that it will just extend normally and if you want to extend it as a, as a ramp you just extend PRF1 and PR back at the same time, and this makes a ramp. R for rotor, rotor entrance, I think it's the one on the ramp, and RS, 
are all the rotors from uh, the suspension itself. So RS all are all the rotors, RS B are the rotors on the back. I think these are the main ones, not the small ones connecting to the smaller carriages. And RS front, RSF are rotor spring front or rotor suspension front. Uh, you'll have to manage, uh, figure out how to use the script because it's not that intuitive but after a while you will get it. Uh, these are timer blocks that control the ramp here so you'll have to scroll through these. And yeah, if you want to get a taste of what you're getting into this is all that's on the, on the ship itself. And yeah, you have some thrusters here because it's quite heavy and hard to move. It is possible, but it's more nimble this way. And yeah, I will show you it works. So first things first, you go to match blocks. For example, we want to open the hangar. So we turn these off, these release. I'd suggest opening them all. And then you look for hinges, hinges upper hunger, and just reverse them. Yep. For example, we want to make a ramp, but first we have to open the back dolls. So we look for match block back dolls. We turn these off. We will we look for hinges back dolls. We have these. We reverse them, they open, and now I want not to lower the platform in a level plane, but as a ramp. So first things first, we go to pistons, pistons PRF1 set to 3 meters, PR back are as they are, I just reverse everything, and I didn't disconnect the, the match block. So go back, match block main, yep, turn this off, look for the pistons again, PRF1, PR back, reverse, and that's kind of it. This portion will most likely be longer than the video itself, but it is what it is. Anyway, have fun with this thing.